Tom Cruise, All the World's A Stage is an authorised biography of actor Tom Cruise, written by British film critic Ian Johnston. The book was first published by Hodder and Stoughton in a paperback format and an audiobook in 2006, and then again in a hardcover format on March 1, 2007, and a second paperback release, on May 1, 2007. Topic. Contents Tom Cruise, All the World's a Stage details some of Cruise's early life, and his role as head of the family after his father left to become an itinerant hippie in California. The author chronicles Cruise's film career, including his first role in Endless Love in 1981, his breakthrough in Risky Business, and other popular films such as Top Gun, Jerry Maguire and The Mission, Impossible Films. He cites Cruise's role as Frank Mackey in the film Magnolia as one of his best performances. Johnston also writes about Cruz's relationships with Mimi Rogers and Nicole Kidman, and the luxurious lifestyle maintained by Cruz and Kidman during their relationship. Johnston puts Kidman in a sympathetic light regarding their 2001 divorce. The book discusses Cruz's relationship with Scientology, and controversy in the media, including his public criticism of actress Brooke Shields, and his TV sofa bouncing. He also discusses the lengthy production of director Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut, noting the fact that Universal Studios and Paramount Pictures allowed representatives from the Church of Scientology to frequent the film sets during production. Reception Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian called the book an unpretentious model of clarity and humility, simply rounding up the known facts." In his review of the 2006 edition of the book, Bradshaw wrote that Johnston had presented a neutral overview of events in Cruz's life, and did not offer any strong opinions of his own in the book. He criticized the work for being "...incurious about what it is like to be Tom Cruise." In his review in The Independent, William Cook described the tone of the book as, "...respectful not reverential." Cook also wrote, "...Johnston's business-like BIOG feels as if written at arm's length, but this distance allows him to state some awkward facts about Cruz's Scientology. It's hard to believe he could have been quite so frank in an authorized biography." The book received a critical review in the West Australian, and a review in Australia's The Daily Telegraph thought the book was almost dull. Christopher Bray of London's The Daily Telegraph also criticised the work, and wrote that the book failed to answer any of the interesting questions, commenting, You will read this book in vain for any suggestion that what we think we know of Cruz's real life might be no more than PR smoke and mirrors. In a review in The Spectator, Roger Lewis was critical of the book, and wrote, "...the eulogies Johnston collects are endless." Barbara Shabai of the Winnipeg Free Press also criticized the lack of depth to the work, writing that Johnston, "...has simply repackaged facts from Cruz's interviews with other reporters into a neat but unfeeling tome that offers all the depth of an Entertainment Tonight feature." Both The Guardian and the Winnipeg Free Press noted the absence of any discussion or mention of the controversial 2005 episode of South Park which spoofed Cruz, "...trapped in the closet". See also Being Tom Cruise Relationship of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes Trapped in the Closet South Park Tom Cruise Unauthorized 1998 Tom Cruise An Unauthorized Biography 2008